this is uh, evening for me uh, after work on a Tuesday and I got something special so I just thought I would uh, make a little quick video about that but first I was just going to say that um, I hope you are staying warm where you are. I've been getting a lot of uh, emails and uh, comments asking about uh, me being warm and that has not been a problem. As you can see here, I've got my little Olympian Wave 3 heater uh, that's on right now. You can't tell it because of the lighting here, but um, that is on. It's on low right now and it's it's actually a little bit too warm in here, but I think I'm just gonna leave it on because it's supposed to be pretty cold tonight. Uh, they're calling for a low of about 25 degrees. I'm fine, everything's fine. I've got a little uh, liquid uh, treatment going on here. Hmm, good, that's getting cold, I need to get to that. So I got something special. My, my boss uh, is a mushroom hunter and uh, he goes all over and hunts mushrooms. I think mostly in, in the Olympics. I'm not quite sure um, where he was this last weekend, but he brought me a chanterelle. Look at that. Just a beautiful thing. When I was a kid, I used to think that I didn't like mushrooms, but that was just because I never saw anything like this. I always saw, you know, things like uh, canned mushrooms or frozen mushrooms, and those are, you know, not very good. They're usually just the white button mushrooms. And I've come to realize that I don't like white button mushrooms, but I do like good mushrooms like this chanterelle. And um, probably don't have the greatest of, of palate and taste buds for mushrooms, so I, I kind of cook them the way I like them. So this, I just thought I'd share how I'm gonna uh, prepare this. I think just because it's so cold and I kind of need a little bit of extra carbs, I think I'm gonna make some pasta for dinner. But, um, you know, pasta's not very uh, nutritious. So I thought maybe this mushroom will be a little bit more nutritious. So um, <laughs> I'm not, not going to make it in a very nutritious way, but I'm, hopefully, I'm hoping that the mushroom itself is uh, going to provide me a little more nutrition than the pasta will later. I won't show you the pasta. That's just, it's just pasta I'm going to be, be making for dinner. But um, the mushroom, I think I'm just going to clean it up, cut it up, and uh, cook it up kind of simply, but just kind of the way I like to do it. I've got to clean up this little chanterelle and I just wash them with water quickly. I don't let them soak uh, because they will soak up a little bit of water. But if you wash them quickly with water, any mushroom, they're fine, uh, as long as you cook them properly. Uh, French chef will tell you a difference, but um, I, uh, I find that that works just fine for me. Anyway, so there's probably lots of ways I could cook up this little thing and enjoy it, but how I like this is um, to pair it up with some sourdough. So I've got a little loaf of sourdough here. I'm just gonna cut some slices of that, and because I'm in a van and I don't have an oven or a toaster, uh, I'm just gonna toast up my bread on my pan. So I'm sure you know this trick, but um, you don't need a toaster to toast bread. You just need a pan on low heat, let it sit. It takes a few minutes, uh, just keep an eye on it, and you do something else while it toasts. All right, so bread is toasted, and I got my mise en place done, so everything's all ready to go, because at this point, things are gonna go kind of quickly. Uh, where when we toast bread, we want it to be slow, uh, keep a low flame and slow. But when, but when we're cooking mushrooms, at least as far as I'm concerned, the only way to cook a mushroom properly is really good high heat. And I like to use butter and a little bit of pink salt. I always use pink salt and grass fed butter. Flavors better with both. And all we're doing here is simple ingredients, uh, putting them together simply. And so, uh, like I said, high heat. So I think that pan should be good and hot. I'm gonna toss a nice little bit of butter in here. You can use olive oil too if you want. And then I'm gonna toss in my chopped up mushroom. And listen to the sizzle. 
probably should mention too that uh, I get away with washing the mushrooms in water instead of just uh, brushing them off like they like they teach in culinary school. They teach in culinary school to just brush them with a little brush. Uh, there's a little mushroom brush you can buy. Um, I don't like that it's tedious and I kind of like cleaning stuff with water. It seems to work better, but it, it works in this case uh, only if you cook them immediately. You can't wash them and then put them back in the fridge, but you can wash them quickly and then cook them quickly and it works out just fine. So mushrooms are like most vegetables where they're mostly water. So I think the best way to get the best flavor out of them is to cook them really hot, really fast. You drive out some moisture, uh, make some caramelization on them. So you can see there, they're a little bit browned on the edges. That should provide a little extra flavor. Not that chanterelles need any more help in the flavor department, but um, that's just the way I like cooking mushrooms. And then to try to help get a little bit more uh, nutrition here, I am going to add some microgreens. I would actually prefer to have some, oh, I don't know, some herbs and some chives like that, but um, I got microgreens and these things are great. You can get them at Trader Joe's. They're actually fairly inexpensive at Trader Joe's. I highly recommend them. They're very tasty. All right, there you have it. Simple little appetizer, just uh, chanterelle mushroom on some really decent sourdough. I did add a little bit of veganaise, basically mayonnaise, um, and topped it all off with those microgreens. Let's give it a try. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Crunchy, messy, good, very, very good.